This video will complement other detailed information provided in Flow's written assembly instructions and owner's manual. Before getting started, it is important to have a dock system layout to ensure that you install the correct size and amount of accessories in the proper locations. Our design and dock tool is ideal to help you lay out and visualize the dock system prior to assembly and installation. It's important to note that quick attach brackets are sold separately from accessories, and all hardware is included. Pockets and mounting tubes are shipped with accessories. All hardware needed for each accessory is included. It will take one person approximately 10 minutes to complete the bumper assembly, as shown. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. Remove the plastic cap on the non-riveted end of the bumper, and slide the two nuts from the hardware bag into the channel. Insert the two hex head bolts into the quick attach bracket as shown. Guide the bolts into each nut on the bumper, set to desired height, then tighten and torque to 35 foot-pounds. Insert the bumper assembly into the dock's quick connect channel in your desired location. Remove the protective tape on the adhesive located along both sides of the bumper's end. Carefully replace the cap and apply a bit of pressure to the sides where the adhesive is located in order to ensure a good bond. The adhesive is very strong and is meant to be semi-permanent. Insert the two hex head bolts into the bottom of the quick attach bracket. Alternate tightening on each bolt until snug to ensure a secure fit, then torque both bolts to 6 foot-pounds. This concludes the vertical bumper assembly portion of this video. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person, approximately 30 minutes, to complete the furniture assembly, as shown. Insert four hex head bolts into a quick attach bracket, then attach the bracket to the dock, as shown. Insert the two other hex head bolts into the bottom of the quick attach bracket. Alternate tightening on each bolt until snug to ensure a secure fit, then torque both bolts to 6 foot-pounds. Line up a furniture pocket to the first quick attach bracket, then slide it onto the four bolts. Note the orientation of the holes in the pocket to ensure you don't install it upside down. Also, chair pockets have only one hole on the side of the pocket where a set bolt will be installed. The table pocket is slightly different, and has two holes for set bolts. Place the nylock nuts onto the bolts, but do not tighten yet. Tightening will be in the next step. Use a square to ensure the top of the pocket is flush with the surface of the dock, then torque all the nylock nuts to 20 foot-pounds. Insert a half-inch nut into the pocket channel, then thread a one-inch bolt into the nut to hold it in place. Just get a few threads started at this time. Tightening the set bolt will come later. The table pocket will not need this step done because the nuts come pre-installed into the table post. Repeat this process by measuring 31 inches and adding another quick attach bracket for the table, then measure another 31 inches and add another quick attach bracket for the other chair. Add a table pocket in the same manner to the center quick attach bracket, then add a chair pocket in the same manner to the last bracket. You will need to attach the stem assembly to the chair. This is accomplished by using the included spacers, bolts, nuts, washers and lock washers, as shown. One side of the assembly is already completed. You will be working on the other side where the stem assembly is attached to the bottom of the chair. Fasteners for each side of the assembly are to be applied as follows. Bolt, flat washer, spacer plate, flat washer, lock washer, nut. All fasteners on the assembly will need to be tightened with the supplied 13mm wrench, or you may choose to use a better wrench of your own. All fasteners, including the pre-installed nuts and bolts, need to be tightened. Torque all to 20 foot-pounds, then cover all nuts and bolts with the supplied caps.
Insert the pedestal into the chair pocket. Allow the pedestal to sit one quarter inch above the foot rest before tightening the set bolt. If you do not allow this clearance between the foot rest support and the pocket, your chair may not sit level. Torque the set bolt to 20 foot pounds. Insert the stem of the chair into the pedestal, as shown. If the chair does not slide fully into the pedestal, you may help it along by adding downward pressure or carefully sitting on the chair until it is fully seated into the bushing on the pedestal. Repeat this process on the other chair pocket. Place the tabletop face down on the packaging so as not to mar the table surface. Attach the table post to the tabletop using the supplied Allen bolts and washers, as shown. Fully tighten with included Allen wrench. Cover each bolt with the supplied plastic caps. If you did not purchase an umbrella, insert the umbrella ring cap into the center of the tabletop. Otherwise, leave it off to insert your umbrella. Insert the table post into the table pocket and line up the set bolt holes with the integrated nuts on the side of the table post. Insert the bolts through the pocket and into the nuts in the table post, then torque the bolts to 8 foot pounds. If you purchased an umbrella, refer to your included instructions for correct installation. This concludes the furniture assembly portion of this video. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person, approximately 10 minutes, to complete the ladder assembly, as shown. Flow ladders are available in 58 and 70 inch heights. Insert a couple of the longer 2 and 3 quarter inch hex head bolts into both brackets, and attach the brackets to the dock, as shown. Adjust the brackets so they are 19 inches apart from center to center on each bracket. Insert the two shorter bolts into the bottom of the brackets, then torque to 5 foot pounds. Line up the bolts to the uppermost set of holes on the ladder. Then guide the ladder onto the bolts. Place the supplied nylock nuts on each bolt, then torque the nuts to 30 foot pounds. This concludes the ladder assembly portion of this video. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person, approximately 15 minutes, to complete the bench assembly, as shown. Insert the four longer 2 and 3 quarter inch hex head bolts into both brackets, and attach the brackets to the dock, as shown. Adjust the brackets so they are 44 and 1 quarter inch apart from center to center on each bracket. Insert the two shorter bolts into the bottom of the brackets and torque to 5 foot pounds. Fasten a bench frame to the backrest with two button head bolts, then fasten the two seat planks with four button head bolts, as shown. The backrest and seat planks have integrated channels that the bolts thread into. Torque all bolts to 10 foot-pounds. Install the cap plugs into the ends of the bench frame, as shown. Repeat this process on the other side. Attach the armrest with two carriage bolts and acorn nuts, as shown. Torque the nuts to 10 foot-pounds. Insert the cup holder, as shown. Line up the holes on the bench and guide the bench onto the four bolts on the quick attach bracket. Place the supplied nylock nuts onto each bolt, then torque the nuts to 25 foot-pounds. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person, approximately 5 minutes, to complete the cleat assembly, as shown. 
Attach the bracket assembly to the dock. Insert the two supplied bolts into the bottom of the brackets and torque to 6 foot pounds. This concludes the cleat assembly portion of this video. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person, approximately 10 minutes, to complete the single accessory rack assembly, as shown. Remove the plastic cap on the top of one of the accessory racks, and slide two nuts and washers from the hardware bag into the channel. Insert the two shorter 3 quarter inch hex head bolts and washers into the quick attach bracket as shown. Guide the bolts into each set of nuts and washers, set to desired height, then tighten and torque to 35 foot-pounds. Insert the included bolt and washer into the channel, approximately 2 to 3 inches from the top, then add included nut and fully tighten. This will be used for securing your items to the accessory rack with the integrated corded hook. Remove the protective tape on the adhesive that is located under the cap. Carefully replace the cap and apply a bit of pressure to the side where the adhesive is located in order to ensure a good bond. The adhesive is very strong and is meant to be semi-permanent. Insert the rack assembly into the dock's quick attach channel. Insert the 1 inch bolts into the bottom of the brackets and torque to 6 foot pounds. Repeat this process on the other rack assembly at desired location. This concludes the single tier accessory rack assembly portion of this video. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person, approximately 15 minutes, to complete the two-tier accessory rack assembly, as shown. Remove the plastic cap on the top of one of the accessory racks, and slide two nuts and washers from the quick attach bracket hardware bag into the channel. Insert a couple 3 quarter inch hex head bolts into the quick attach bracket as shown. Guide the bolts into each washer and nut in the channel, set to desired height, then tighten and torque to 35 foot pounds. Insert the rack assembly into the dock's quick attach channel, then insert both of the 1 inch bolts into the bottom of the brackets. Tighten the bolts and torque to 6 foot pounds. Slide a nut and washer, included with your accessory rack, into the top of a rack arm, and insert a bolt into the nut and washer as shown. Do not tighten yet. You will need slack in order to complete the next step. Slide the arm over the main support at desired location, and torque the bolt to 25 foot-pounds. Repeat this process on the upper rack arm. Remove the protective tape on the adhesive that is located under the cap. Carefully replace the cap and apply a bit of pressure to the side where the adhesive is located in order to ensure a good bond. The adhesive is very strong and is meant to be semi-permanent. Repeat this process on the other rack assembly, at desired location. This concludes the double-tier accessory rack assembly portion of this video. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person approximately 30 minutes to complete the flag pole assembly, as shown. You will need the help of one other person while attaching the auger to the flag pole but everything else can be accomplished with one person. Insert four hex head bolts from the hardware bag into a quick attach bracket and attach the bracket to the dock, as shown. Insert the two other hex head bolts into the bottom of the bracket and torque to six foot pounds. Line up a flag pole pocket to the quick attach bracket and slide it onto the four bolts. Note the orientation of the holes in the pocket to ensure you don't install it upside down. Place the nylock nuts onto the bolts and tighten and torque to 35 foot-pounds. Install the eye bolt to the top of the inner smaller diameter pole, and secure with a wing nut, as shown. Attach the flag pole topper to the top of the inner pole using the two included set screws, and tighten with a 3 32nd inch Allen wrench. Place the solar light onto the flag pole topper with the solar panels facing up. Securely screw the globe into the flag pole topper. Line up the mounting tab on the weight, so that it is in line with the eye bolt you installed at the top of the pole, and slide the weight up from the bottom of the pole, as shown. Insert the inner pole into the outer pole, 
while aligning the index hole in the upper pole with the arrow on the warning decal on the outer pole. Insert the knob bolt and tighten, as shown. Attach the two carabiner spring clips to the eye bolt and tab on the weight. Insert flag pole assembly into the flag pole pocket. While another person holds the flag pole out of the water, secure the auger to the bottom of the pole with the included 3 and 1 quarter inch bolt, lock washer, and wing nut. Slowly lower the pole into the water until it reaches the lake bed. Insert the post crank rod into the guide holes located under the knob bolt, and screw the auger into the lake bed at least 12 inches, then remove the crank rod from the flag pole. Attach the top grommet of your flag to the upper carabiner spring clip, and the bottom grommet to the clip on the weight. Slowly loosen the knob bolt and carefully raise the inner pole in a hand-over-hand -hand motion until desired height is reached, then tighten the knob bolt. Be very careful while raising the inner pole, as this is a potential pinch point. Also, be sure not to overextend the inner pole, or the two poles will separate. Take your time while raising your flagpole. This concludes the flagpole assembly portion of this video. In order to do this assembly, you will need the following tools. It will take one person, approximately 40 minutes, to complete the dock steps, as shown. Insert a couple 3 quarter inch hex head bolts from the hardware bag into supplied bracket, and attach to the dock, as shown. Place a dock mounting tube onto the quick attach bracket bolts, as shown. Thread a nylock nut on each bolt, and torque to 35 foot-pounds. Repeat this process on the other bracket assembly. Adjust the brackets so they are 33 inches apart from center to center on each bracket. Insert a couple 1-inch bolts into the bottom of the brackets and torque to 5 foot-pounds. Important. While adding all bolts and nuts to the stair assembly, do not tighten until told to do so. Keep all nuts and bolts loose, or just finger tight while assembling. Set two stringers so the holes with 9 and 9 16 inches of spacing are at the bottom, as shown. The spacing between the rest of the holes on the stringers is larger. Line up the two bottom holes on the stringers with the holes in the bottom handrail assembly, using a couple 2-inch bolts, two washers, and two nylock nuts from step 1 on your hardware cart, as shown. You may find it easier to turn the entire assembly on its side while completing all of the remaining steps. Line up the two holes in the top of the stringer with the top step rail support and a step. Insert a couple 1 and 1 quarter inch bolts. Each step has a channel on the underside that the bolts thread into. Add all the end caps and steps in the same manner. Note the orientation of the end cap so you do not install it upside down. Remember to keep all nuts and bolts loose, or just finger tight at this point in the assembly. Add the two stringers to the other side of the assembly, and repeat the same process. Add a handrail to the top of the support and attach with a bolt, washer, and nylock nut from step 2 on your hardware card. Do not tighten. Repeat this process to the handrails at the top of the other three supports. Insert the included carriage bolts and nylock nuts into the mounting brackets at the top of the stairs on each side, as shown. You can now tighten all nuts and bolts only until snug. If the stairs do not move without a lot of effort, the nuts and bolts are too tight. Loosen, re-tighten until snug, then back off a quarter turn. The step assembly is meant to move freely and be able to be folded up when not installed on a dock. Lift the step assembly, and guide the carriage bolts into the top of the keyholes on the dock mounting tubes, then lower the stairs into the keyholes to lock it in place. This concludes the steps assembly portion of this video. Thank you for choosing Flow. Please consult your local dealer if you need additional assistance.